Whitewater Rapids is making me a little bit nervous, I gotta tell you, but uh, luckily I'm joined by an expert with uh, Boreal River Rescue, Danny Pellet. He's an instructor. How long have you been instructing for? Uh, I've been instructing this course for over nine years, yep. Okay, and this course is what? Uh, Whitewater Rescue Technician. Okay. So we teach to boaters, kayakers, canoeists, rafters, also uh, anglers and rescue professionals as well, like firefighters, just about doing rescues in whitewater. Okay, so uh, what's the first thing that we're going to do this morning? Uh, we're going to do some swimming. So I guess first from a, a bit of a self-rescue standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, if you end up falling into the water, um, you want to make sure that you have your equipment on properly. Right. right? So and what's we the have, equipment you've got uh, me in here so far? Life jacket or a PFD, personal flotation device. Okay. Really important uh, so that you keep floating high and Oops. that it fits properly so it's nice and snug. Um, because we're going to be getting into pretty cold water, we have our dry suit and you have a bunch of fleece layers underneath and then your whitewater helmet as well. Okay. Um, the other thing that's important uh, to remember if you're swimming in whitewater mm -hmm. is not to try to stand up. That's one of the most dangerous things you can do. If you're moving in the current yeah. and you try to stand up, and let's say I put my foot down somewhere like right here, the river bottom is made up of rocks and logs and mm -hmm. things like that. And if you try to stand up, the current could then push you over and with your foot stuck there mm -hmm. and the current going over your head, that's obviously not a good not position a good... to be in. So to avoid okay. that, we get into what we call the whitewater flotation position. Yeah. And we can see actually Niels uh, volunteering and he's just floating with his feet out in front of him. Okay. Facing downstream and enjoying himself. So this is what I'm gonna wanna do in a few minutes. Yeah, you don't wanna try to put your feet down. The okay. other thing is if you want to be a little bit more aggressive to actually get yourself to the side of the river or say you had to go rescue somebody, yep. then you could make yourself like a little kayak or canoe or raft okay. and actually swim across the river. So we can see Julian doing it here. He's going to jump in. He's swimming at what we call a ferry angle. And then when it comes time to get into the calm pool over here on the side of the river, he oh opens up his angle to point straight into there okay. and swims himself over to shore. Okay. Okay. So keep my feet up. Yeah. And, and if you want to get somewhere, basically point the way you want to go and swim that way and stay with your body flat on the surface the whole time. Okay. Is there anything else I should be keeping in mind? Uh, those are the main things. Stay calm. And if you smile, it helps a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. well, uh, what are the different length of courses that you teach for uh, River Rescue? Uh, we do two-day and four-day courses. So mm -hmm. the two-day course is Whitewater Rescue mm -hmm. and the four-day course is Whitewater Rescue Technician. Okay. And uh, we do those internationally and we have a lot up on the Gatineau River uh, running throughout the spring. So, okay. Yeah. And if you uh, head to the Boreal River Rescue website, you can look at all of the information and I honestly think that even if you don't fall into one of the categories that you mentioned earlier, whether it's a boater, an angler, or a paddler, because we have so much white water around, around us in Ottawa. Ottawa and Ottawa Valley, it makes sense to, to learn how to do this. Yeah, it's really important. Okay, I'm awesome. nervous. Should we give it a try? Yeah, let's jump in. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. 